ABC 7's learned the Bridge of the Americas has reopened following a protest by Mexican railroad workers earlier today. They blocked the paths coming from Juarez to El Paso, causing some of those lanes and the drivers to be stuck for hours. ABC 7's Juarez correspondent Eliberto Perez filed this report. Railroad protesters said they were going to keep blocking the bridge until the federal government spoke with them. This made borderland crossers frustrated after hours of waiting. Yo iba principalmente a la escuela, pero pues ya con todo esto pues ya no pude llegar. Ya perdiste cuántas sí, ya clases? Perdí dos clases. Jesús Lazo is a Juarez resident that studies in El Paso. He said crossing the border is part of his commute to school, but the protest made him miss two classes. Other residents who didn't want to show their faces on camera told me they were also frustrated at the protest. This is a protest retired Mexican railroad workers have set up here on the Bridge of the Americas since early Wednesday morning. Some borderland residents traveling from Juarez to El Paso told me they've been on the line for more than three hours now. Pues tengo desde las 7 de la mañana, entonces tengo unas tres horas. Tres horas. Tenemos tres horas esperando, empezó todo desde las 8 de la mañana. Jesús and this borderland resident said they waited for three hours when I interviewed them and they were still on the line. Other residents waiting in line didn't even know what was happening. Cuando el líder habló con nosotros dijo, sabemos que ustedes no tienen la culpa, pero lo que quieren es llamar la atención del presidente. She said when the protest leader talked to them and said, of course, this wasn't the fault of ordinary citizens, but they wanted to call for the president's attention. When they arrived, U.S. authorities blocked half of the bridge with razor wire for security purposes, but none of the protesters tried to cross. Reporting in Ciudad Juarez, Heriberto Perez, ABC 7. Other residents were also seen turning around and leaving the bridge while the protest was still underway. The bridge was kept empty for hours and other ports of entry saw an increase in wait times because of that blockade.